Welcome to my channel. This is our new project, GA8 Airvan. The real plane was made by uh, Australian company, Gibbs Aero, and I use the delivery from New Zealand's company. Actually, this is the second version of the model. The first version I built about four years ago. Already made some modification. The first one is uh, I made the wing proportional to the fuselage, like the real one. But in the on the first one, I made the wing a little bit a little bit longer, so the fuselage a little bit shorter than this, shorter than this. And I use thicker thicker airfoil for this wing, so I hope it can generate more lift than the first one. How to access the battery? It's also different. On the first one, uh, you have to open this passenger door and reach your hand to the front to reach the battery, RX or other cables. But on the second one, I made the battery head here. The last modification I made is I made a separate engine cowl so you can you detach this engine cowl and reach the motor to maintenance or to replace it. Okay, you can build this model plan yourself. You can download the plans on my website. Also the decal on my website paperdeskreptica.com. Okay, let's start building this plane. You can choose to print the plans on A4 or A0 size paper. Cut the parts on the plans and trace it with pen on 5mm foam sheet. I use 5mm polyfoam or depron foam. I'm going to make the middle part of the wing. First, I need to make score lines on the inside side of the foam. That way, it will be easier to curve the foam. Make each score lines at least 3 mm from each other. Warm the foam with the heat gun, then slowly curve the foam. This is the base part of the wing. We need to send its leading and trailing edge to receive the top part better. Send it like this. Follow these steps to build the middle wing. Mark the spar position. We will insert the joiner in front of the spar later. Combine with the top part, 
by gluing the leading edge first, then wait until the glue is set. And then close the middle wing completely. Make two holes on each side for the wing joiner. While using score lines is more precise, but it takes more time for wider surface like this wing part. So I am back using my earlier method by pressing the foam and slowly curving it on a metal pipe while heating it with a heat gun. Just like the middle wing, we need to send the leading edge and trailing edge too. And then continue building the wing. Cut that rectangle out and put a piece of foam on the other side just on top of it. Combine bottom part and top part of the wing by gluing the leading edge first. Apply glue on wing spar, airfoil formers, and trailing edge before closing the wing. You need to do it fast before the glue is hardened. After closing, you need to press the wing and wait at least one minute before release it. Close the wing tip like this. And finally, finish the wing by combining three parts of the wing with a wing joiner from 3mm plywood. Cut the aileron using a guide from the plants. Close the gap on the wing with foam.
smooth all sharp edges on the wing by sanding it. Cut about 5 mm on the bottom side of the aileron and sand it like this. We need to cut plywood parts for building the fuselage. Glue plywood parts to the fuselage walls. You can also use 3mm hard balsa wood instead of plywood. This plywood part is very important for the structure of the fuselage. Because there are many windows, by using the foam alone it will be very weak to support the wing. And then cut out all the windows except the ones that don't have plywood frame. and follow these steps to build the fuselage. Pay attention to some nose parts including this one. When this part attach, the front edge will facing a bit to the right. It's not symmetrical and designed on purpose, don't change that. An RC model, especially the puller prop configurations, need a bit right thrust angle to counter the propeller torque.
cut the cowl according to the plans to add a firewall. I use the same motor as my Cessna 172. Turn it G20 at 30, 1000 kV. Install the motor to the firewall. For the propeller, I use multi rotor prop 3 blades 9 inch 4.5 pitch. It is a rare propeller, pretty hard to find this prop. So I suggest you to use 28 motor with 1000 kV to 1400 kV with 9 inch blade. That's the maximum prop size you can use on this plane. More than that, you will have a prop strike on the ground. As an example, you can use 1400 kV with 8 inch prop or 1200 kV with 9 inch prop. Install ESC, I use 50M ESC. You can use 30M ESC for this motor. It's time for covering the aircraft. I use white packing tape to cover the plane. I begin with the wing. First, I need to cover the bottom side and cut the excess tape. After all bottom side is covered, continue covering the top side. Cut the tape longer than the wing and fold it to the bottom and stick it to the tape on the bottom. Smooth the edges and flatten the wrinkles with covering iron. Use cello tape for aileron hinges. Cut servo holes for ailerons. Add plywood part into this hole for receiving wing strut. Now covering the fuse last.
use small amount of glue to attach the engine cowl so we can easily open it again if we want to retrieve or replace the motor you can use a hot knife to slice the glue add ice cream stick to reinforce this part sand this part to prepare for painting we need to paint it black place the servo holes like this paint the interior black it's optional but by painting the interior with dark color will add more depth on the model so it will look real I use acrylic paint for this We need all black on interior, so here I close some places that haven't painted black yet with black tape. Smooth all sharp edges on stabilizers before covering. I cover all stabilizers with Oracle vinyl stickers because I need to paint them. Attach horizontal stabilizer on the fuse last. Use cello tape for elevator hinges. I use 2 mm wire to join the two spirit elevators.
also use cello tape for rudder hinge. Now it's time to apply a decal. I use vinyl stickers printed on my local digital printing shop. A good decals can make an RC plane model look more real. I also share this decal so you can download it along with the plans. In real life, this livery is belong to New Zealand's air fan, Zulu Kilo, Foxtrot Sierra Romeo. I choose to use this livery because it's the most attractive air fan color sim on net. Here I use transparent stickers applied to 0.3 mm mica plastic. You need to hit the plastic so it can hold the shape. Now I'm going to make wing mounting.
I added 10 mm Eva foam inside to prop the ice cream sticks. Used to give some screws to screw the wing down. For making landing gear, you'll need 3mm plywood, 3mm wire, I use bicycle wheel spoke wire, I need 3 of it, and two 60mm foam or rubber wheels, and a single 45 or 50mm wheel, nylon thread, and CA glue.
accessories part are optional. These parts are not essential for flying. Like this one, in the real plane, it is a cargo box that will be placed beneath the fuselage. Now I'm making two platforms on each side of the fuselage to receive the wing struts. These are two wing struts, made out of ice cream sticks. How it's made, you can see my video on my channel about Cessna 172. Here I'm making control horn. I use plastic from DVD box.
left servo is for elevator and the right one is for rudder. Cut the bottom side of the fuselage to make an opening for inserting battery. Honestly, I was too lazy to think about making a better battery tray. So I just made a blockade on the back and on the front with foam. So battery is enclosed only to that area. Here's how I insert the battery. Just play the battery inside and close it with some kind of a foam blockade so the battery cannot fall down when the plane is a normal position. Now I'm finishing the hatch door. This is also a lazy lock system.
con cũng nhẹ Duanya nggak dapet Jadi yang pertama agak ketutupan gitu Terus baru Yang punya ibu Ya nanti dari sana ya Coba dulu percobaan lagi
gas that the Melon flight. Uh, this air fan flying really good and I like it. Uh, the landing also not a problem. Uh, it's easier than landing the Cessna 172. I like this more than Cessna. Also the looks of it. I like the look of it. It's real scale. A bush plane and but the, the, the elevator is a bit touchy so I use 50 expo on elevator and rather 50 also and the aileron I use 20 expo the rate is 100 and the next episode will be continuing our Boeing 737-300 part 4 okay see you in the next episode